Welcome to this new video text press, guys. Let's see how we can set up some Shopify payments. If you already have a website and you are ready to get started, you want to make sure that you have an active plan into Shopify in order to continue. So before you make the Shopify payment, I can strongly recommend you to check it out that you don't have a store passcode. So in my case, if I go into the home section into my online store server to the sale channel, I have my online store is in development to let visitors access to your store, give them the passcode. So even I can even I can give them the store passcode or I can disable that. And to do that, I needed to have an actual active plan into Shopify. So you can go into settings and inside settings, you want to go into plan and you wanted to make sure that you have an active plan, the best of fits for you. You don't have to pay for a lot if you don't want it to. So once you have that successfully added, your store should be now ready to get started with. So with that being said, what I wanted to do now is to get started with the Shopify payments. Inside settings, we are now inside the actual settings of Shopify. You wanted to focus into payments down here. So in here, as you can see, we have the testing, the additional payment methods, the payment methods, the manual payment methods, and there's actually no more. So if I wanted to add more stuff, what I wanted to do is to get started with some adding payment methods. Inside the payment method, I can choose the provider or the payment methods that best suits for me, depending on the country you're currently living. In my case, I don't have the Bocus getaway. So whether you can choose to add Visa, Mastercard, American Express, Aero, Maestro, that totally depends on the currency we are currently living. As well, if you go into search by provider and you just click in here, it's going to be a bunch, but truly, truly bunch of elements that you can choose. Once again, depending on the country that you are currently living. So if you wanted to get started with Shopify payments, I can totally just do to open it up. I'm going to go for Shopify payments. And this one should be popping up the Shopify payments section. Uh, depending on the country, once again, you're currently living, it's going to be really, really, really easy to add those payments inside your actual Shopify. But once again, this totally depends into what kind of store and where you're currently based from. So you want to just log in into the setup of the Shopify payments once you are in here. And now what you just need to do is to add all of your, let's say your bank account, uh, your basic information, and actually it's going to be really, really, really easy to get started with. But if you don't have the Shopify payment here enabled into your country, what you can do, you don't have to be worrying about that. What you can do is to add something else inside the providers of the payment method inside Shopify. For example, there is to check out converter, there's BitPay, there is Coinbase Commerce, for example. There is a lot of providers that you can choose once again, depending on the country that you're currently living. For example, uh, something that I can give you and totally suggested to use is Creo. For example, Creo is, um, let's say, enabled into almost any kind of international stuff. So you can hit into activate. And this one should be giving you into the new account information. So you just need to create your major email. You have your secret word. You can enable all of this money and hit into active this Creo. Once you have all of this information uh, uh, integrations added, you can go back. I can go into my payments once again, and I just wanted to make sure that my payment method is now being added correctly. For example, I can receive money from the bogus getaway and from PayPal. And just in case all of this is not working for you, you can even add manual payment methods. So I can hit here to add manual payment method. And let's say that you want people to hit into your bank deposit or your money order or cash on delivery, for example. In here, you wanted to add the details about your bank deposit and the payment instructions. This is totally uh, optional, but these are all the elements that you can choose for the payment getaway of Shopify. So choose the one of the best suits for you guys and have lots of fun though. So thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Now you guys have to know different ways to add Shopify payment methods. So thank you once again for watching the video once again. See you next time.